Hey, guys, let's do our bold, bold predictions. Bold predictions and okay. let's uh, and, and wrap so, this up. And just remember, up. they're bold predictions right now. Write them down. So write them down. We should oh, write them down because we're, we're always by Sunday. We're like, what did I? What did I say again? Yeah, and yours. I remember yours the ones so, we I, I, I couldn't think actually, of a good you one. Hit, you hit your bold prediction. I we didn't it. have. We didn't have a main. I player. couldn't think of a bold prediction last week because I wasn't excited for last week's game. And guess what? It was your 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 bold prediction was weak. I'm excited for this week's game, and, and it's not very bold, but I have a prediction. And in the chat, throw in your bold predictions. Uh, we want to know what your bold predictions are. For Actually, this I will say my bold prediction. It's it's like a parlay bet, kind of. I'll go off it right now. My my bold prediction, and it might not. I don't even know if it's that bold. You guys go. You guys go. I'm gonna I'm gonna conjure it up in my brain here a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. So I, my bold prediction: Micah Micah Parson is going to get in a pick six. Oh, that's good. That's see, that's bold because it hasn't happened this year. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a good bold one. Mine is gonna be. Uh, I'm going to do a three-pointer, and it might not sound bold, but it's hard to hit a parlay of, of three okay. predictions. I'm going to say Ced, Cedric the NT has a touchdown. Uh, Dalton Schultz have a, has a touchdown, and we win by more than six and a half points. That's my parlay for bold predictions. Is And, hey, if you in a little behind baseball, you could throw that down as a bet somewhere, and it pays out well. Is that a little behind baseball? Did I already make that bet? I don't know. I guess I don't we'll know. have to figure hey, it out. But you know what? I actually think those you have really good chances. I, I on did. All of I those. did make Zygma that. Beach. I did. Zygma Beach. I did make that bet. I'm trying to win us tickets to the NFC Championship, boys. Oh, play. <laughs> okay, here, here, here's mine. I believe Zeke's gonna ball out, and he's gonna have the most yards. That he's had this season, so I think that's like a hundred, probably. So what? Like Sixty yards. Sixty yards. <laughs> it's probably at like hundred and five yards. We'll say okay. hundred and five yards. Say hundred and five yards. Rushing, rushing, rushing. Yeah, it's not all purpose. It's got to be rushing. Got to be rushing, and and he's gonna get a touchdown. It's funny that if you tell if you told me you got to go two touchdowns for it to be a bold prediction. Two touchdowns, including passing. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Any any touchdown can count, but yeah. it has to be hundred and five. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's decent yeah. considering Zeke. I mean, it's funny, 2016, if you told me a bold prediction was Zeke running for 105 yards. You guys saw that stat just before I call us out. Zeke's averages over all the years. You said you saw you saw my averages of Zeke. Yep. Uh yep. 2016 was like 115 yards a game. 2017 was like 90, 18, 70, 6, or uh I've lost my count. 20, whatever. It just went down yeah, and he's yeah, at like yeah, 60 yeah. yards a game now. Uh, it's, it's sad to see. It happens, man. This happens. is what happens. It's when the running back, man. We got a lot of. But guess what? If you can keep them to deliver, like if Zeke can just do four plus yards a carry, that's fucking valuable. That's what you need. Yeah. And that's kind of what people get caught up in. You got to look at his yards per carry over his yards per game. Because if he has 60 yards per game, but he's rushing for over four a uh, carry, and so is Pollard, well, they're just in a two back system. So yeah. it, it's yeah. not, it's. It's not his. It, you can't really fault the guy because he's getting production on every carry he gets. So what is what is Zeke's uh, yards per carry for the season? AJ, I, I'm gonna go. I think he was probably about four point three yards a carry. I was gonna say four point seven. Four point three is my just off my t- no four point seven. That that uh, that'd be sweet if he was. That's that'd be really good. So twenty twenty one. Yeah, really Roop, see. Roop's 4. saying four point two. That's not bad. Yeah. Roop's saying run Tony. Yeah. And I don't know if he's saying that to you, but a run to Tony Pollard. Yeah, you gotta run. You gotta run Pollard. Pollard has that home run ability, which we we all admit Zeke's home run shot ability. He's not no. rushing for a seventy yard touchdown. Okay, so he, he's so, never been that guy. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say some of the he's, some of the he's scores. He's never been a seventy yard. Yeah, okay. explosive. Fair, fair enough. He can, he can run a twenty plus. He's supposed yep, to hammer. Absolutely. He's supposed yep. to hammer it in, and then you let Tony Pollard do the big, the big runs. Like Zig, that's Zigam beach it. He's, he's Zigam beach it. So we have uh, uh, a couple score predictions in here too. So Tira. so Alex Terrell saying thirty six nineteen. I would uh, love that. We're Hunter Mettler saying twenty four twenty one Cowboys. I see. I I I, I, I feel. I feel. Like I that. feel that one. Um, yeah, Tammy yeah. saying thirty five twenty eight Cowboys. I could see that too. I see that. Yep. Tim yep. Fitz Tim Fitzgerald saying I would trust us more if we didn't play at home. LOL. I, isn't that weird? I'm I'm right with them. <laughs> I honestly like I feel the same. I well, feel when the we, same. When, when we were when we were sort of slotted to play Arizona first round of playoffs, I was like, Are you? I know with like, with what's his fuck there, uh, Murray being Kyle, Kyler Murray. You know at AT and T Stadium. Yeah, fuck that. I, I I do like the 49er matchup better than the car, us playing against the yeah. Cardinals. Absolutely. I do yes. like that better. 
Uh, Dante Clark saying 28, 24 Cowboys. Did I say that? I don't know. He's also saying two picks, three sacks and a kick return for TD. That's his oh, bold prediction. That That's a be, good bold prediction. I like hey, that. Uh, here's another thing. He's going to have to drink some screech if that happens. Yeah. You, yeah. So uh, Dante, if that happens, you fucking hammer your we grossest shoot, hey, whatever, whiskey or bourbon. Yeah. Whatever American bourbon you got sitting in there. Cause for chat, anytime there's a kickoff return uh, or a punt return, we have to take a shot of Newfoundland screech. If you don't know what that is, it may as well be petrol. <laughs> and if you uh, don't know what petrol is, it's diesel or gas. Uh, we also have uh, another comment: whiteout, whiteout Sunday. So we'll we'll yep. be wearing our pack of eighty eights jerseys. Be, yep. Or we got to go. I'll have to fit into my Sean Lear. Sean Lear, the, your your Elliot, your Zeke. You could probably. Oh get. yeah, I'll wear the Zeke. <laughs> uh, Roy McSee. Uh, oh, Roy's in the house. Uh, hey guys, you're doing a great job, fellas. Oh yeah, and you're all funny. Man, Roy, every time he comes on, just compounds that. <laughs> Funny interest. Thanks, you know what thanks, right? That's it fine. makes us feel good about ourselves. We do, and I, and I love it. Thank you, Roy. Roy, hit that thumb up, please. Yeah, make sure, <laughs> hit make sure that you thumb subscribe. Up. Share it on your uh, your Instagram to all your car buddies. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Look at these guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> it's getting late on the East Coast. Let, let's wrap uh, for this. y'all. We're gonna wrap, wrap this up. up. Uh, you know what? We're we're here Sunday. Sunday, we'll We're be going here a half an hour early. 30 so. minutes before kickoff. What, you, 1 p.m. live stream. We're going to post it. I'm going to post it up today. Already. Yeah, do it. Get that shit up there. Yeah. So for the bandwagon boys over there and your host, Anthropes, we out. We're going to be here whited out against this bitch-ass <laughs> Nate dog. And we're going to have a good time. And for those of you like JJ the Mime, I'm forever going to be a day one is what he says. Yeah, hell we'll yeah. See hell you guys. yeah, brother. Boom. Hell yeah.